I got a phone call from the director or the producer, I'm not sure. I guess it was the director. And he asked if I want to read a script of a TV series which is a psychological thriller. And I was like, man, that's not, that's not very common in Finland. We don't have many series of that genre. Mm -hmm. And I was like a bit, how would I put it? Well, of course, I, I, was, I said that I will read it and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and we talk more. And I have to say that when I read the script for the first time, it, it was quite an experience. Mm -hmm. Um, I read like uh, two or three episodes at the same time. I, I mean, for for uh, while I was at it, and uh, I I couldn't lay my hands off the script. It, it was so intriguing. It's so hooking. I wanted mm -hmm. to know, I wanted to know how this ends, mm -hmm. and that's that's not always the case when you mm -hmm. when you read the script. Uh, I was super enthusiastic about it, but at the same time, I was also, uh, I, I mean that it's, it's not an easy role. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a bit, it, it, it felt a bit frightening. Mm -hmm. it, it felt that this is a big challenge, which is also a good thing, of mm -hmm. course. And I needed like, two or three three weeks to like think it over and I and I uh, had a conversation conversations with my agent and with my closest ones mm -hmm. and, uh, and and that should I take it or am, am I up for it and uh, because there are some uh, scenes in the series mm -hmm. which which are pretty uh, how would I put it like Intense. Intense and, and a bit cruel and uh, well, well, like like horrific scenes. Okay. And uh, usually when I when I pick roles, there have to be something I can, you know, identify, mm. I can relate to. I guess every actor does the same mm. thing. I don't, I'm not sure. Of, for for me, it's very important. Mm -hmm. If I don't if I don't feel that there's something me in the role, I, I I'm not interested. Mm, but to have those kind of scenes in a series, which I have to act, mm -hmm. and I'm not even sure that uh, have I have I have I got like guts to read them. Mm -hmm. And I should play them. Yeah. That was the, like, the difficult part, difficult thing to uh, get ready for. It takes place in two time levels, mm. 2007 and 2019, mm. and uh, and that was one one thing that really. I felt that this is interesting. Mm -hmm. I never haven't uh, done a production where I can do a role in a 12 years time time level. Uh, we talk about it a lot, mm -hmm. and of course, all the makeup and uh, hair and uh, how do we make me younger? Mm -hmm. I get and. I, and, and, and the other actors also. Uh, we did the present time. We shot it first. Okay. And uh, I don't know. It, it felt like the right right uh, order. And the and the past time. After. Secondly. Yeah. But it was very interesting to see the result because it's it's always so that uh, 
at least in many cases, you, you really can't remember everything you have shot. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, of course. especially in this this production, because it's uh, it's hard to imagine that how how they different time levels mm. will be combined and how they will be edited together. Mm -hmm. So uh, I remember the first screenings, I, I was pretty nervous and uh, waited it, it a lot. He is, he is unhappy mm. in both time levels, mm. but for a different reason. Mm. And that I think it's uh, quite interesting because um, what happens to him in the past, in the, in the past, it's such a crisis, mm. such a um, accident for uh, one person mm. that it's it's hard to imagine what will what will one think mm. after that kind of incident. Well, we talk talked a lot about Seppo in the present time level with Mikko Kuparinen, the mm. director, mm -hmm. and we came up with this idea that, in a way, how how he presents himself. In, in the present time level. Mm. He is more calm mm. than in the past. Mm. So that the people who people who have like lost it all. He 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 he's, uh, he he don't have anything left. Mm. Uh, in that situation everything becomes like easy and light. Mm. So he's not constantly thinking about what happened. Mm. He's like over it, but he's a, he's a smiling, unhappy man.